The master of all snakes. Shamaran. Interestingly, the story of Shamaran legend, which dates Ottoman sultans to the travel book of Evliya Celebi and the underground of Italia, is the subject of events that were even recorded in the records of sultans. Is this a myth or is it based on a real story? Let me tell it and you decide. According to the legend, there is a snake species called Moran. This species is half human and half snake. Shamaran is the ancestor of all Moran snakes and master of all snakes. Now, let's get back to the legend and learn about the first encounter with Shamaran. A poor kid, who is living in the Kukarova region of Adana city in Turkey and makes his living as a woodcutter, discovers a cave full of honey together with his friends. This is an interesting cave that goes underground in the form of a well. His friends tie Jem Shah with a rope and lower him to the well to collect the honey. However, they leave him in the well to get more honey in their shares and run away. Jem Shah notices a hollow in the cave, which emits light. After making the hollow larger with his knife, he discovers a great beautiful garden, which he has never seen before. He sees a woman with a bright face but the body of a snake in the garden. This woman was Shamaran. In other words, master of all snakes. At the end of the legend, Shamaran dies. However, other snakes will not hear the news. This is because if other snakes will learn about her death, they are going to invade the Kukarova region and they will enter each house to poison people. This is the summary of the legend. Mysterious events continue today. In fact, the official records about the topic date to Fatty the Conqueror. One day, an Italian delegation from Venice wants to visit Fatty the Conqueror. Although the Sultan will not accept this demand at first, he will accept the delegation after the Italian delegation says, there is a great treasure in the Basilica Cistern. We will only tell it to the Sultan. The Italian delegation says that there is a treasure hidden in the Basilica Cistern, but this treasure is in a body located in an old sarcophagus and it is not about gold or other valuable items. They also said that, the corpse is such a great treasure that no man can value it. This corpse belongs to Medusa. In other words, the snake-haired woman in Greek mythology. We do not know whether Fatty the Conqueror allowed the sarcophagus to be removed or not. However, we know that there is an upside-down large head of Medusa in the Basilica Cistern. The statue was placed upside down. The mysterious events start 300 years after the Italian delegation visited Fatty the Conqueror. Cracks and hollows occurred around the Basilica Cistern in the Istanbul earthquake that happened in 1876. Sultan Abdulhamid gave an order to examine and restore these cracks and hollows. When the workers enter the tunnel to repair the damage, they find a large sarcophagus here. The mystery was about to be revealed when they opened the sarcophagus. The depictions on the sarcophagus were depicting Medusa, i.e., the snake-haired woman in mythology. However, the mummy in the sarcophagus was a bit different. It is because the face of the mummy was a woman but the body was in the form of a snake. This means that the corpse was looking like the master of snakes, Shamaran or Marans, to which she was the ancestor of them, but not Medusa. The corpse, which was examined by German biologists with the order of the Sultan, decided to be kept. However, the sarcophagus was exhibited to the public for a while in the court of Fatty Mosque. 
there is only a single photo that belongs to the date when the sarcophagus was exhibited. The interesting thing about the event is all the newspaper issues, which tell the story of this event are available in Fatty and Bayazit libraries. Only the issue that belongs to that day is missing for 100 years. I have been told that Shamarin is the master of all snakes, but it also belongs to Moran's species. Moran means snake in Persian, which is half human and half snake like Shamarin, and it is said that it is the most powerful one of the snakes that live underground. Therefore, the corpse found in the Basilica cistern may not belong to Shamarin, but any Moran. Also, there is a claim that it is related to Shamarin or genies. According to the first claim, this species may have been born because a snake that mated with a nunaki, long-lived and powerful beings, which are believed to descend from the sky and come from outer space thousands of years ago, gave birth to Shamarin. Another claim proposes that a genie in the form of a snake mated with a human and Shamarin was born. It is often claimed that Marins, who are descended from Shamarin, are seen in Adana and its surroundings. Locals say that they often see Shamarin around the castle called Yilongkale, Snake Castle or Shamarin Castle, which construction dates precisely. The castle was built on rocks, and it is full of hollows and cracks. Besides these rocks are the home for many snakes, according to the legend, it is believed that Shamarin used to live in these rocks. Evlia Celebi even wrote about this legend in his travel book. He is talking about plenty of snakes around the castle in a snake that has long feathers and horns he had seen when he visited the castle in Adana city. According to him, this snake can only be Shamarin or another Moran. Evlia Celebi also wrote that the snake that has large horns and feathers has the face of a human and appears and hides from time to time. Again, according to what he wrote, Although the Shamarin died, her descendants continue to live in the castle and around. This is the main reason why they appear from time to time. Therefore, Yilongkale, Snake Castle Castle is also named Shamarin Castle due to the travel book of Evlia Celebi. In the documentary called, Half Human Half Snake, which received the best documentary award from TRT in 2012, many elderly people of Adana, who claim that they have seen Marins, were interviewed. In one of these interviews, an old woman, who lives in Kukurova, said, she had the face of a human, short legs, and the body of a snake. We see her while sitting in the backyard of our house in the evening with our neighbors. She was turning around, not knowing what to do. We all run away indoors in fear of our neighbors. In the previous years, another event that took place around the Sehan River in Adana was as follows. Two farmer women began to scream while they were sitting by the river. Other farmers who ran to their help asked what happened and the reply of the old woman was quite surprising. Women started to talk in a semi-conscious manner. A woman with a beautiful face was looking at them while she was in the river. Women decided to go closer to the woman in the river by wondering whether someone was drowning but the being that they thought human passed the river quickly, walked away with her crocodile-like feet and she was half human and half snake. This is the last Shamarin event recorded. People who live in hot climates know that snakes often enter river waters either to pass them or because they are overwhelmed by the heat. Could it be possible that Marins, the descendants of Shamarin, had done something like this? People living in and around Kukurova hang a picture of Shamarin in their houses to respect her. This is also done to keep the snakes away from the house. It is because... According to a belief, 
Shamarin prevents snakes from biting people. However, one day snakes will learn that Shamarin is dead. They will visit every house and poison everyone in Kukarova for revenge. Well, what happened to the sarcophagus that we have mentioned at the beginning of this video and has a corpse that looks like Shamarin, while most people used to believe Medusa was in it? After a short while, this sarcophagus was discovered and exhibited, and it was taken by foreigners to Italy, just like many historical artifacts in Anatolia. The location of the corpse is still unknown, but it is hard to believe that Italians took the tons of sarcophagus empty to Italy. Unfortunately, many giant historical artifacts and treasures in Ottoman lands were plundered by foreign nations and taken to their own countries between 1800 and 1920. Most of them are being exhibited in the British Museum in London. According to a claim, a secret organization took the sarcophagus with a major operation. However, if we need to put conspiracy theories aside, according to historical facts, the sarcophagus was sold to the Italians by invading soldiers during the occupation of Istanbul and the Italians took it by ship. Turkey has been fighting for 90 years to bring back many historical artifacts. However, they only managed to bring a small portion of them. We hope that they will find this sarcophagus and bring it back. This will also mean that it will reveal a lot of mysteries including the link between the legends of Shamarin and Medusa.